More now on the growing humanitarian crisis in Ukraine. NBC News senior national correspondent Tom Yamas is in a makeshift shelter in Lviv. Tom, what's the scene like there? Hey guys, good morning. With so many refugees, shelters are popping up all over western Ukraine. We have been all over the city of Lviv, at the train station, at theaters that have been converted. This may be the most surreal so far. This is one of the most popular fitness centers in Lviv, and it's been converted to a shelter. This is just one section. This is a squash court, and families are now living inside of a squash court in Ukraine. And this is very sad. I, I know it looks incredibly sad, but when you talk to the refugees inside, they're actually grateful to be here because of what they just escaped. Ahead of advancing Russian troops, a desperate race to escape. Families fleeing on foot, suitcases and small children in their arms. One child in Medica, Poland, the busiest crossing from Ukraine, breaking down while following his mother on the painful journey. And it is traumatic for so many. 25-year-old Alana Yatushenko says she and her family had to escape at night, driving slowly outside of Kyiv near Russian troops. Her entire family praying silently inside the car. What has been the hardest part so far? The hardest part to understand that we are now safe here and our friends and family are not safe. Refugees from the southern city of Odessa crossing over to Romania by ferry. It's very painful for me because uh, I left almost all of my family there. This hotel ballroom, now a makeshift shelter for more than 2,000 people, each with a unique story of loss. This young woman fearing for her partner, the father of her six-year-old son. We live together six years, and he, he promised me when the war is end, I'm sorry, when the war is end, he married me. And now the U.N. telling NBC News the wave of refugees will be much higher than first expected. Do you think the number will be much higher than 4 million? It now looks like it was a conservative estimation. Now it looks like uh, there are going to be much more people uh, fleeing the war than we first estimated. While those who remain hunkered down in basements like this, helping the most vulnerable as best they can. We are bombed every day, every night, and uh, nonstop. You know, sometimes we have an hour or two of quiet time, stay in the air. Sorry, it's bombing. As bombs continue to fall, this woman with a message for the world. Enjoy what you have, enjoy peace. It's really valuable. Don't take for granted what you have now because it's so vulnerable. Put so much in perspective right there. So the mayor of Lviv says right now this city has taken in more than 200,000 refugees. They're not sure how many more they can take. I spoke to the owners of this gym, and they own three of them. And I asked them, how long are you going to be doing things like this? Like, this is the dance studio, and it's filled with families right now. They said that they're going to keep doing this as long as they have to. They said they're going to do this until this war in Ukraine is over. Mika? NBC's Tom Yamas, thank you very much for your reporting. Hey, thanks so much for watching our YouTube channel. You can follow up on today's top stories and breaking news or catch up on your favorite MSNBC shows all in one place. Download the NBC News app today.